Budapest, the capital of Hungary, is often billed as one of the most romantic and beautiful cities in Europe and is quickly becoming a favourite destination for tourists. Join us as we discover Budapest and give you an insight on some of the top things to see and do. Sashay <laughs> away! <laughs> Bye Felicia! <laughs> That's it, we were packed and after a few cheeky beers we were ready to go. We flew from Stansted Airport with Ryanair and after a slight delay taking off we landed in Budapest in just under three hours flight time. Myself and Jason arrived first and we waited for Emma who had caught a flight from Scotland. It was raining when we arrived but that didn't dampen our spirits. This is our Airbnb. Cost us £24 a night. And yeah, it's lovely. It's just what we need. So if I to follow us through here, here's the dungeon. The sex dungeon. The cave. Very nice. Some lovely, lovely lights. Moving on to the bathroom. Looks like the bathroom from Saw. <laughs> For full details of our Airbnb accommodation, check the links in the description below. It was about time we headed out and grabbed some breakfast. The rain soon cleared up, so we decided to head to a popular tourist spot we had read about. Fisherman's Bastion, is one of the top attractions in the city. It was built between 1895 and 1902 and has a certain Disney quality about it. It was originally built to serve as a lookout tower for the best panoramic views in Budapest and they are open day and night all year round. Entrance is free, which is great, but there is a small charge if you want to view the balconies and the top turrets. Inside the grounds, you'll also find the chapel and a pretty awesome cafe. But for now, it was time to get ourselves back and ready for our first night out in Budapest. So it was our first night in Budapest. We decided to head out, have a few cheeky beers and explore the town. Hi! I'm Amy and Lucy! We've got Amy and Lucy here. We're in a bar in the middle of Budapest. Let us know. Like and subscribe. Yes! <laughs> She's done this before. We survived night one. How are you well, feeling? I couldn't possibly tell you. <laughs> no, and she's going to make it get in the toilet lift again. Real life scenario. Beer for breakfast again. My brother Justin had flown in to meet us for the weekend because we'd booked onto the Budapest boat party. So we headed down to Wombat's Hostel that was organising the tour. We're at the Wombat Hostel, going on a boat trip. Plenty of people in here. Emma wants rum and cock. Um, yeah, let's get back on it where we left off. It's day two. We've been drinking since 10 o'clock this morning. We had a little nap boat, so it feels like a new day. We're getting on it again. We're going on a boat trip. Hey Felicia. So on a boat trip, we're on a booze cruise. What 
the Danube. Where are we going down? On the Danube. On the Danube. Literally just got on. Drinking our first plastic cup full of crap. That's who do shite. We booked our tickets for the boat trip in advance from the website. We'll leave the link in the description underneath this video. Tickets cost £33 and that included unlimited drinks for the two hours that the trip took. is the third largest parliament building in the world and it's situated on the bank of the Danube. Tourists flock to see both the impressive facade plus the fountains located in the square that spray fine jets of water that create a mist-like effect. By lunchtime, our hangovers were in full force, so we decided to power through and get back on it. We headed to Budapest's most famous ruin bar, Simpler Kurt. Ruin bars are often set up in abandoned buildings or spaces and are adorned with random and bizarre artifacts. It's the realisation from Jason that he's just been sitting directly underneath. And no. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. We've decided that the only thing that's going to sort out. She makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Our lives right now is tequilas and a lot of, so we're going for it. Jason isn't convinced. The rest of us know. And then later we need to get on Samuel Booker. Samuel Booker. <laughs> It was Saturday night and we had booked tickets online to Budapest's top spa party. We will leave the link to the booking website in the description below. The tickets cost 50 quid each but sell out fast so we recommend booking in advance. The party starts at 10.30 and goes on till 3am with great music, awesome special effects and a great crowd of very drunk party goers. This was definitely our best night in Budapest. We can see why it's so popular with tourists and backpackers. Certainly is not one to be missed. The morning after the night before. It's now Sunday. And this is our little um, hostel room at One Bats. At £24 each a night, One Bats Hostel certainly wasn't the cheapest option, but it was in a fantastic location right in the heart of the Budapest nightlife. It was time for us to say goodbye to Justin because he had work the next day, but for the rest of us, we hopped in a taxi and headed to the other side of town for our next Airbnb. On night four, we're still alive. Just Long about, show. I've barely got a voice at all. <laughs> <laughs> Completely shot. I'm having a bit of a chilled one tonight because we're going to do some touristy crap. Food, soft drinks, maybe a cheeky wine, and um, yeah, see some musical fashion fountain things. Just <laughs> <it's>, yeah. <laughs> The musical fountains are located on St Margaret's Island, just a short walk from our apartment. We arrive just before the main show at 9pm, where the fountains dance and light up to both popular and classic tunes for 45 minutes. As it got darker, the lights in the show become even more beautiful and spectacular. I definitely recommend putting this on your Budapest bucket list.
It was our last full day in Budapest, so we decided in the morning to visit Buda Castle. The castle is the historic palace of the Hungarian kings of Budapest. It was first completed in 1265, but the main Baroque palace that dominates most of the area was built between 1749 and 1769. The courtyards of the castle are free of charge and open 24-7. We decided to spend our last afternoon on a Hungarian wine tasting cruise on the River Danube. Emma, what are we doing today? We're wine tasting on a boat. Boop, boop, boop. Getting pissed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I think I'm dying. <laughs> we booked our tickets online. We'll leave a link to the website in the description below. The cruise lasted 90 minutes and tickets cost just £35 each and included seven different glasses of wine each served to us by a very lovely waitress. I don't, I can't even see. But it's I'm a like... Hungarian dry. <laughs> Cheers guys. Cheers. The views in the daytime were beautiful and throughout the trip an automated recording played interesting facts about the popular sites of the city. After our seventh glass of wine, we were smashed. So we decided to carry on through the night and go out in style. Night five in Budapest. We ordered our um, food, which was five tequilas and also a Bloody Mary. Um, so we've had a liquid dinner and it was very filling. I enjoyed it very much. <laughs> As you can see by my eyes, We've hammered it for the last five nights, but I'm good to go. After a fantastic night out, it was time for us to leave our last Airbnb. We'll leave details of it in the description below. We had an awesome time in Budapest. Please like this video if you've enjoyed it, and don't forget to click the little logo to subscribe to our channel.